Hey there, Ryan here. And I'm just going to show you some basic, I'm just going to show you a tutorial for some basic camera movements. And this is what I'm going to show you today. As you can see. It's just a camera moving around the text. And then the text fades out. Okay, this is for beginners only. So, people who just are new for After Effects. And I'm just going to show you how to do it right now. Click on Composition, New Composition, um, HDV slash HDTV 720, 29.97. Width 1280, 8720, square pixels 29.97, full. And I'll just put the draw rest in 30. Press OK. And you'll notice a black screen will come up. Down at the bottom of here, press fit. So it, wherever you move it, it'll always fit. So, first of all, you want to get your text tool up in the top here. And then what we want to do, we're going to click on the text. And I'll just put Ryan again. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the text. First of all, I'm just going to press this button here, near the fit on the right of it. Press title slash action safe. Click on the text, and this is um, the center of the screen where the cross is. So you press on the text on the panel, you press S for scale, and then you move the scale up. And as you can see, the text is getting bigger. And you just center the text, which is about just there. And then you can take it off. And as you can see in this one, the text is all colored. So what I'm going to do, and also these was lowercase. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to drag this one. And you'll see a text color here, and you just drag it into the white section. You do the same with the end. Click on this, drag it into the white, and then there we have it. The text. All right. I'll, I'm going to show you how to do a camera movement. Press layer, new, camera, and we'll put the presets 35 millimeters, and we'll just leave all the rest. And well don't worry about that. And what we need to do, we need to click on the Ryan layer, or whatever you want to call it. And then, as you can see, here is like a three D box. Go down and tick it on the Ryan. This makes it three D, Y axis, Z axis, and the X axis. And all you got to do now. Just click on your camera one, press P for position, and press this timer here to set a keyframe. And this will record whatever you do. You move the scale five seconds, and then as you can see at the top, you'll see like a rotation orbit camera tool just under the layer on the left. Click on that, and all you got to do on your screen. Just drag it sideways, and it'll obviously move. And then you move another five seconds. You just move it more around, and then you do another five seconds. You move it all around, and then center it back where it was. All right. Now, if we move back now, you'll see the camera movements like that. Or as you can see on this comp one that I did. I moved around and then the text faded out. All I did for that is press on the Ryan layer or whatever layer you want your text. Press T for opacity and what opacity does is like the visibility of what you can see it. 0% is invisible and 100% is clearly visible. And you want to set a keyframe where you want it to start going out 
So I'm going to set it right at the end keyframe on camera. Press the timer, move it forward a bit, and then put the opacity to zero. And let me just do it on half just to make the rendering quicker. And as you can see, there we have it. Basic camera movements, and yeah, looks pretty cool. Can make an intro out of it. Yeah, and also, if you want to make it, if you want to make the Ryan a bit brighter, press Effect, Stylize, Glow. What this does is glows your text. Put your glow threshold. To 100, put your glow radius to about 50, and put your glow intensity up to about 3. And then we've got some glowing text on the go. And that's all for the camera movements. Be sure to subscribe, comment, rate, yeah. And more tutorials for After Effects will be coming soon, advanced and simple. So just subscribe and yeah.